Louise Brooks, a timeless Hollywood actress, had a significant impact on the film industry. Her impressive career is often linked with memorable works, making us wonder which one truly defined her legacy. When did you first notice Louise Brooks? Share your special memories or personal experiences connected to this legendary figure in the comments below. Stay tuned for interesting, funny, surprising, and heartfelt facts about her. Keep watching, there's much more to explore. Louise Brooks, a Hollywood trailblazer, left an unforgettable legacy in the film industry, making her a celebrated figure. Her influence is evident through a remarkable career that continues to stand out in cinema history. During Hollywood's golden era, she mesmerized audiences with captivating performances and a distinctive style. Beyond just acting, Louise embodied a charm that set her apart. Her ability to break societal norms and make a lasting impact on the film world makes her noteworthy. Louise Brooks didn't just play roles, she breathed life into characters with depth and authenticity, captivating audiences. Her impact extended beyond the screen, shaping how people perceived and appreciated the art of acting. In a lively industry, she showcased the power of talent and individuality. Her significance in her time lies not only in her on-screen talent, but also in challenging societal norms. Louise embarked on a Hollywood journey that defied conventions, leaving behind a captivating legacy studied and admired to this day. As we explore the intriguing facets of her career, share your thoughts and memories connected to this legendary figure. Stay tuned for more insights into the life and influence of this actress. There's much more to discover about Louise Brooks and the timeless moments created on the silver screen. Louise Brooks, a Hollywood luminary, continues to captivate audiences with her significant influence on the film industry. Beyond her on-screen brilliance, memorable quotes from interviews and anecdotes from co-stars shed light on the essence of this legendary actress. In one interview, Louise shared her perspective on the art of acting, saying, I don't act. I react. This simple yet profound statement reflects her approach to bringing characters to life, emphasizing authenticity over theatricality. It unveils the depth she injected into her roles, making each character a genuine representation of emotion and human experience. A co-star once reminisced about working with her on a set where she effortlessly transformed into a character. The co-star noted she had this magnetic presence that drew everyone in. It was like watching magic unfold before our eyes. This insight offers a glimpse into the magnetism Louise brought to her performances, captivating not only the audience, but also those who had the privilege of working alongside her. Behind the scenes, there's an amusing anecdote about her unconventional fashion choices. During the filming of a period piece, she insisted on wearing her own vintage clothing, seamlessly blending her personal style with the character's wardrobe. This rebellious spirit and refusal to conform to industry norms highlight her commitment to authenticity, both on and off the screen. Her impact extended beyond roles, challenging societal norms with every step. A fellow actor, reflecting on their collaboration, mentioned she was unapologetically herself. In a world where conformity was prized, Louise stood out as a beacon of individuality. This sentiment underscores her role as a trailblazer who paved the way for a more diverse and authentic representation in Hollywood. As we delve into the layers of her career, these quotes and anecdotes provide a unique perspective on the woman behind the performances, her ability to transcend traditional expectations and leave a lasting influence on the industry speaks volumes about her legacy. Louise Brooks, a potential British cinema star, was initially considered by playwright Frank Launder for the role of Emmeline in the film adaptation of Henry de Vere Stackpole's The Blue Lagoon around 1928. However, the movie, titled The Blue Lagoon, eventually featured Gene Simmons in the proposed role. This change in casting marked a shift in Brooks' journey within the film industry. Before becoming an actress, Brooks had a background as a dancer showgirl. This early experience laid the foundation for her transition to acting, showcasing a diverse skill set beyond her eventual success on the silver screen. Her life and career are detailed in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, providing insight into her journey from a dancer showgirl to an actress. This biographical account offers valuable context to the evolution of Louise Brooks as a figure in Hollywood. In contrast to her eventual fame, Brooks initially found herself considered for roles that did not materialize like the aforementioned The Blue Lagoon. These early instances of missed opportunities shaped her path, contributing to the narrative of her Hollywood journey. 
The transition from dancer showgirl to actress reveals the various aspects of Brooke's career. Her ability to move between different entertainment realms showcases the depth of her talent and adaptability. This shift not only highlights her versatility, but also sets the stage for her eventual influence on the film industry. Biographical sources, such as the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, contribute to understanding Louise Brooks, providing a nuanced perspective on her life and career. These sources serve as valuable references for those looking into the layers of her story beyond the glamorous facade of Hollywood. Exploring Louise Brooks' journey reveals that her career was marked by twists and turns, with each experience contributing to shaping her legacy. The intersection of her early years as a dancer showgirl and the unrealized film opportunities adds layers to the narrative of this Hollywood figure. Daughter of lawyer Leonard Porter Brooks and talented pianist Myra Rude Brooks, Louise Brooks made a significant impact in Hollywood. During her career, a crucial moment occurred when Marlene Dietrich was set to play Lulu in Pandora's box just as Brooks left her Paramount contract. In the early days, Brooks stayed at the Algonquin Hotel, becoming friends with director Edmund Gooding. Initially unsure, she turned down his screen test offer, suspecting hidden motives. Her unusual behavior led to eviction from the Algonquin, followed by a brief stay at the Martha Washington. Reflecting on this time, she said, within a month, my clothes got me kicked out of two hotels. Initially considered for roles like Emmeline in the Blue Lagoon, Brooks shifted from a dancer showgirl to an actress. The Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives explores her journey, offering insights into her evolution in Hollywood. These missed opportunities early in her career shaped her legacy. Louise Brooks, a Hollywood luminary, left a lasting mark, not just for her on-screen talent, but also for challenging societal norms. A co-star recalled her magnetic presence on set, describing it as watching magic unfold. Behind the scenes, her rebellion against industry norms, like insisting on wearing personal vintage clothing during a period piece, showcased her commitment to authenticity. The intersection of her early years as a dancer showgirl and unrealized film opportunities adds layers to the narrative of this Hollywood figure. Brooks' journey reveals a woman unapologetically herself, standing as a beacon of individuality in a conformist world. Her influence, captured in anecdotes and quotes, speaks volumes about her impact on the film industry. In 1946, facing financial challenges, Louise Brooks took a humble 40-a-week job as a sales girl at Saks Fifth Avenue to sustain herself. Despite past successes, she found herself navigating a different chapter, working outside Hollywood's glamorous world. During her career, Louise faced the disappointment of an unsuccessful audition for the role of Louise Platt in the 1938 film Spawn of the North. The coveted part eluded her, highlighting the competitive nature of the industry and the uncertainties actors often face. In a surprising twist, her first autobiography, Naked on My Goat, met an unconventional fate. Louise chose to discard it, throwing the manuscript into an incinerator with her own hands. This decisive action speaks to the complexity of her personal journey, revealing a person unafraid to let go, and perhaps symbolizing a desire to control the narrative of her life. These glimpses into her life provide a raw and unfiltered perspective on the challenges and decisions faced outside the limelight. Whether it was the struggle to secure roles or the deliberate act of discarding her own autobiography, Louise's experiences shed light on the human side of a Hollywood luminary.